Jeremy, I love the 50 degree weather yesterday, but I am kind of excited that we'll have snowflakes at Ice Fest. I mean, it's January, right, Chelsea? I mean, it's time for snowflakes, and okay. I'll be happy with it too because we'll be enjoying it together, right? Tomorrow right. afternoon, so I'm looking forward to that. But we do have snow showers on the way for tomorrow e afternoon and evening. And although we had temperatures that felt like spring, felt like April 5th yesterday, we'll be back towards average as we go into next week. But I want to start off our forecast with a live view from Wilkesbury. It's a live view from the City Heights Apartments camera looking a little bit foggy there. We have the leading clouds already pushing into the area from this storm system that's on the way. 44 is our current temperature. 46 was our high and we currently have calm winds and our low this morning was 39 degrees. Here are our highs across the region in the upper 40s and low 40s for Mount Pocono, but the rest of us in the 40s except for Allentown, 51 as a high there. Currently temperatures are in the 30s and 40s, 40 for Morris, 41 for Coconut Township, 45 for Danville, 40 for Hazleton, 45 for Lehighton, and 45 also for Sailorsburg. I want to show you a temperature trend. This is the history for the past 13 days, not including today. So if you include today, that's the past 14 days. And we've been above average now for the past one, two, three, four, and today five days. But before that, we had such a long stretch of winter weather, that Arctic blast giving us a high temperature of only 17 degrees. Boy, was that a chilly week last week. But at least we're back up to above average. And temperatures were above average once again today in the 40s, but we'll be back to to average tomorrow through the week ahead. Here's the current satellite and radar. You can see those leading clouds from the storm system and also some moisture already pushing its way into central Pennsylvania. That's not making it to the ground yet. The air column is not saturated completely, so that's not that's actually evaporating on its way down. Here's the larger picture. You can see this large, low, low pressure system spinning counterclockwise. I want to bring your attention to two bouts of energy. So this one, you can see it here, yellows and oranges included. This is heavy rain over Illinois and Indiana. And then we got other rain that's coming up from the Gulf that's pushing its way through, I would say, North Carolina, also Virginia. These two are going to join up forces tomorrow afternoon, and that's when we're going to see that switch over from snow from rain to snow. So that's when we're going to see some heavier bouts of rain and snow when those two bouts of energy merge together. Here's the Sunday storm timeline beginning tonight as rain switching over to a sleet tomorrow morning and then we'll see widespread snow showers tomorrow afternoon. Here's the bigger picture. So that low pressure is going to slide its way off the coast. It's going to funnel in some colder air from Canada on the back end of that low pressure system. Remember they spin counterclockwise so it will be filtering in that northwest air and that's what's going to cause that switchover from rain to snow as we go through the evening and overnight hours into Monday. We could see some residual flurries on Monday. All right, here's a closer up view so you can see when it's going to affect you in your counties. We'll see widespread rain by midnight. Then by around 630, we'll start to see those switchovers in our highest elevation. We're talking Wayne County, also in Atayoga and Potter counties too. Then around nine o'clock, that rain snow line will start to push its way from the north. And then as we go through the afternoon hours, this is when those two bouts of energy merge. We see heavier bouts of snow there for Sullivan County and heavy bouts of rain for portions of Luzerne County. Right after 1.30, 2 o'clock, that's when that rain snow line pushes itself all the way down to the south. We'll see widespread snow shower activity, 5.30 through 10. But remember, it's so warm for the past few days that we're not going to see significant snowfall totals. So we'll see rain anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain. So we'll have saturated grounds, but it probably won't stick in a lot of our valley cities. I think one inch is even pushing it. We might see a coating to a half inch in our valley cities. For our northern tier, that's when we'll see our bullseye, and that's going to be three to four inches. Also for the upper elevations of Wayne County, too. Here's your seven day forecast. Rain to snow for tomorrow. Do expect there to be a sloppy commute if you're headed out anywhere. Monday brings a breeze in from the northwest and temperatures remain below, right around average for the week ahead. But Chelsea, once we're past this week, it looks like it could be once again above average for that second week of February. Ooh, I like the sound of that. We're already talking about the second week of February. I know your birthday's coming up. Oh boy, it's wild. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jeremy. Yep.